In this video, we'll discuss the link between analysis of variance and multiple regression. You may have noticed that the between and within group variances are expressed in terms of sums of squares and mean squares, which we also use in multiple regression. It's also not a coincidence that the table of mean sums of squares and sums of squares in multiple regression is often referred to as the analysis of variance table. In fact, multiple regression and analysis of variance are technically the same. To illustrate this, we'll perform a one-way analysis of variance using multiple regression. Let's consider our one-way example, where we compare healthiness of three groups of cats that consume different diets — raw meat, canned food, and dry food. A vet rated cat health on a scale from 0 to 10. We have a quantitative response variable and a categorical independent variable, or indicator. The indicator has three levels, and only binary indicators are allowed in regression, so we need to create two dummy variables to identify these levels. The first dummy variable, x sub raw, distinguishes between cats fed on a raw meat diet and all other cats. The second dummy variable, x sub canned, distinguishes between cats on canned food and all other cats. Cats fed on dry food are identified by a score of 0 on both dummies. The regression model is mu sub y equals alpha plus beta sub raw times x sub raw plus beta sub canned times x sub canned. How do we interpret the intercept and the regression coefficients? We'll consider the regression model for each diet group. For cats fed on raw meat, the population mean equals alpha plus beta sub raw. For cats fed on canned food, the population mean equals alpha plus beta sub canned. For cats fed on dry food, the population mean equals alpha. So the intercept represents the population mean of the last group, fed on dry food in this case, called the reference group. From this it follows that the regression coefficient beta sub raw represents the difference in the population mean of the raw group minus the population mean of the dry food group. Beta sub canned represents the difference in the population mean of the canned food group minus the population mean of the dry food group. With an overall f-test, we test the null hypothesis that all regression coefficients are zero. So we're testing whether the difference between the raw and dry food group is zero, and whether the difference between the canned and dry food group is zero. If we rewrite this equation, we can see that we also implicitly test whether the raw and canned group differ from zero. Since we have only two indicators, we can represent the data visually in a three-dimensional graph. As you can see, the three groups are located at the corresponding values 0 and 1 of the dummy variables. The plane goes through the means of these groups. The observations are scattered around these means. In multiple regression, the null hypothesis corresponds to a flat plane, where the means are all the same, resulting in regression coefficients of 0. As soon as one or more means differ from the rest, the plane will be tilted. If we recall the visual representation of the null hypothesis in one-way analysis of variance, you can see that the flat plane corresponds with population distributions with the same mean, and the alternative corresponds with population distributions with different means. In regression, the predicted health value for cats that eat raw food is the mean health score in the raw meat group. The same goes for the other groups. In multiple regression, the variation in the residuals, or prediction errors, is the variation in the observations in each group around the group mean. So the residual or error mean sum of squares in multiple regression is the within group variance in analysis of variance. The regression mean sum of squares in multiple regression is the variation in the predictions around the mean of the response variable. This corresponds to the variation of the group means around the grand mean in analysis of variance. So the regression mean sum of squares in multiple regression is the between-group variance in analysis of variance. Of course, the individual t-tests of the regression coefficients do not necessarily correspond to the post-hoc comparisons in analysis of variance, but the overall f-test in regression and the f-test in analysis of variance are not just similar, they are the same. 